What's going on everybody, it's your man Cleveland Terry and today we're just gonna quickly and briefly talk about the adjustable beat grids found in Algorithm DJ. Now, you guys know I've been testing it and I will have a review coming out in the next week or so, but a lot of people have asked about this whole beat grids, does it import your beat grids, Is are they the same? And I tell people, well, they're actually better and they don't understand. So today we're gonna talk and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, we all know what beat grids are. If you don't know, they're basically, if you were taking a, a four beat phrase, a four beat bar, right? One, two, three, four, the beat grids are set within those four beats. Now, Serato does a decent job of analyzing your beat grids. As you can see here, let me go to edit my beat grid. And where these lines are represents where it believes the beat should fall. Now, it doesn't always get it accurate. Here's one right here. You can see here that the beat, the lines a little bit moved to the left. So we can nudge that if we wanted to and make that work, but we're not gonna do that. I've always done most of my stuff just pretty much off the fly. I come from vinyl. We had to make adjustments anyway. So, but if you wanted to, you could definitely go into here and then adjust your beat grits to try to line them up better. Now. If you're dealing with anything that's electronic, you know, anything from like, I don't know, 90 hip hop to EDM to where we are right now, everything's pretty much beat gridded. So that's not been an issue, but it's those old songs, those live bands, uh, the disco era, you know, all those old fifties, that stuff requires you to make some adjustments. So people were asking because they've spent a lot of time working on their beat grits, getting them right where they want to be not me, but a lot of people have. So they were concerned if they were moving over to DJ, do their beat grids port over? And the answer is yes. However, if you don't do your own beat grids, you still have this adjustment. So let's just show you what, this is a perfect example. Uh, uh, Peaches and Herb, shake your groove thing into ring my bell. Now there's a part in this song on the bridge where I typically mix out. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hit sync on both of them. So now we're, You can hear it going off. Obviously, that's not what you wanna do in a live environment. So let's take this back out of here and let's go to DJ. Now, I haven't done anything. No adjustments to the beat grids, although again, you can make adjustments. I can click over here on this little arrow and then I can bounce it around and adjust the downbeat so we're on we're on the money. But I haven't done anything. I've just taken the same analysis that came from Serato. It is taking the same analysis. It's doing its own little thing too, but it's dynamic, which means it's adjusting on the fly. If, if it feels as it's looking ahead on your music, if there's something off, it can adjust for it. You don't even see it. I have seen on here where a song will transition upwards. Like, oh, I'll give you a perfect example. By the way, this is all demonetized because I'm playing regular music that you guys know. If you like what you're seeing here, go ahead and hit that super chat or become a member. It's right up there, hit that join button and uh, you can uh, also, hang with me and support the channel. I got a full video coming out on this, but I just want to show you this too. So ring my bell, 132. We know it's a little off anyway, but we're going to take that. We're going to hit the sync on turn down for what, which is a uh, transition beat. It goes from 128 down to 100. So we're going to see uh, what happens if we try to transition down. Now it's going to slow down. Listen. Turn down for what? 
I don't think you understand just how dynamic and amazing that is. A lot of times when people are just dropping beats, you know, it'll account for that beat drop and adjust. So if you were a sloppy dropper on the one, well, this is a this is going to clean up a lot of your issues. <laughs> but that's just dynamic beat grids. I just wanted to show you guys. If you found what I said are useful, hit that like button. If you found what I said are useful, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on the Instagrams and the Twitters. Get on my Discord. That's where we're talking about all things Cleveland Terry. As I said before, I do have a review coming out on this in about a week or two. I'm going to do one more week, and then I'm going to uh, take the time and spend it on, on reviewing this thoroughly. All right. Uh, guys, girls, always a pleasure. If I don't talk to you later, we'll talk soon. Peace.